What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and Apple just released iOS 9.3.3 Beta 2 for developers. So, like usual, a little video to make sure uh, you guys know what's going on with this update, if there are any changes, and just overall a little picture of what's going on. And I want to talk a little bit about Jailbreak, because I know I haven't been talking about it at all on this channel, mostly because there's just nothing to talk about. There seems to be a lot of news, but in the end, is it really news or is it all just vaporware? But anyways, so this new update's fairly small, about 50 megabytes, and it's for all devices, including the new iPad Pro. So that one had an issue where 9.3.2 was re-released for it, and I did fix my breaking issue. So thank you, Apple, for that. But anyways, uh, what new features does it provide? That's a good question because really this is all under the hood bug fixes. I know a lot of people were having some issues with Bluetooth in car stereo, uh, some syncing issues, which it doesn't seem has been fixed just yet, but it's something that this firmware might take care of in the end. And, uh, you know, I wish I could show you some new features, but really there are none. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some things I may or may not change. First off, some speed. Here is the Geekbench result. Seems like it's a very solid number right there and on the right is the previous beta one so really no difference here speed wise again we're looking at mostly under the cover fixes and i really hope that i was 10 isn't more of this i hope there's you know a huge redesign more differences because right now i'm very disappointed in the updates they're so empty i mean they do fix problems but it's just an endless cycle of more and more updates without actually seeing much difference now uh, besides that let's see what else is still working is the date time trick still working installing emulators or things like that all right so with my time all the way back in 2012 let's go ahead and try and re-download using this trick so i'm very surprised this is working in the first place hopefully it keeps on working and it did install let's see if it still works all right and it appears it is still working so that's good news and about the round folders guys so previously i did make a mistake it does work just not in the top row for some devices in some cases so don't worry about that it hasn't been patched that was my honest mistake that's just about it guys there's really not much to say about 9.3.3 it's gonna be a very small minor update it's unknown whether this will be the last one who knows uh, you know, even after iOS 9 beta dropped a year ago, we still saw an 8.4, so we might see a 9.4 yet. Who knows what that will bring, but man. I'm going to turn the camera around. I want to talk to you guys for a minute right now. All right, and guys, just a little update. I'm done with the 9.3.3 video, but I just want to talk to you guys a little bit on a more personal level. So uh, about Apple in general, I mean, I started this channel years ago with jailbreak in mind. I would mostly do jailbreak oriented things. I've learned a lot. There's a lot of things I don't even do right right now. And I'm always open to feedback from people, but it's just hard to run a channel like this when Apple makes it so difficult. Even things that aren't jailbreak related, like glitches or things that enhance your device, make them make your device easier and better to use. Apple doesn't like that. You know, they want you to use your device on their strict guidelines. So a channel like this is, you know, in a way like arrogance against Apple and Apple doesn't like that. They squash it. It makes my life a lot harder. Not just me, a lot of you know, jailbreak related YouTubers. And, you know, we get crapped on a lot because sometimes people want what they used to have in the back back in the old days you know like jailbreak stuff even and we can't give that to you because we don't make it we uh we started these channels in mind with jailbreak and now that that's not here you kind of have to adapt you have to make different content and a lot of people don't like this so i just want to say i mean i'm sorry i don't provide the same stuff i used to back in the day i try i mean i try and be everything apple not just strictly jailbreak stuff so you know the people that don't like the direction this channel is taking i'm sorry it's just really really hard with apple you know preventing that from us to go ahead and keep making the content that we used to in the past and you know i tweaks he made a great video the other day about the jailbreak situation and it's it's tough you know because right now we have no idea what's going on and apple as a company in general is taking such a crazy approach to this whole phone thing i mean Every other company likes to give people choices for them to be able to mod their device even if they want to. I mean, they'll discontinue the warranty like in Samsung's case, but I don't know. My point is it's tough right now and uh, we're struggling as YouTubers to give you guys good content that you need that, that we started this channel with. So work with us. We're just waiting on Apple right now. We're waiting on the jailbreak developers. I really don't know where this channel is going to go. Um, trying to steer it in a course that's following Apple and trying to make it interesting. I know I do some different videos sometimes and I'm, I like variety. Like 
I don't know, maybe even it's not related directly to what I do. I just like to mix things up once in a while and I got a couple good videos planned later. So um, I don't know guys, just a couple thoughts. So um, yeah, me personally right now, I'm I'm suffering. It is so hot here in Vancouver. I work in uh, an enclosed environment without AC, without, uh, without ventilation. So it really sucks. It's really hard for me to make videos right now. And I'm actually uh, building my own house right now. So got a lot of plans, floor plans, working with this stuff and I don't know, making a lot of progress in my life. But with Apple in general, I'm just really, really, really hoping that Worldwide Developers Conference in just a little bit will be something monumental, something big, because I'm dying right now. I want Apple to do something crazy and I feel like they're holding back and I don't know why. Is it the profits? Is it because they genuinely can't innovate? I don't believe that. I really think they're holding back and they might release something big with iOS 10. I hope so. Otherwise, guys, I don't know. I'm losing steam here, and Apple <laughs> Apple needs to do something good. But, you know, work with me, guys. Yeah, I'm doing my best, and I, I hope you guys understand that. So not just me, you know, jailbreak channels in general. It's really hard for all of us right now. And uh, I'm not trying to, you know, grab your sympathy or anything, just explaining the situation right now. So uh, hopefully we have a great week next week with the Worldwide Developers Conference, and I'll try and keep you guys updated on everything, you know, everything iOS 10 related, everything. And uh, as for the iPhone 4S, I actually kind of want to make a tribute for it. One of the phones that will probably be getting discontinued, and I don't know, just a couple thoughts, guys. I don't know. All right, so uh, thanks. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay tuned for any and all news related to Apple, and uh, work with us, guys. Thank you. Peace.